guys i welcome you to the lecture series on practical machine learning myself dr dibas dibora and today our topic is box and whisker plots as you know that we are going through different data visualization technique this is one among them and of course a very popular one so box and whisker plot for that box and whisker plots also known as box plots in short is another useful technique to review the distribution of each attributes distribution each attributes distribution means how the values with respect to that attributes are distributed as you know in the last class i described that like skewed whether skewed or normal okay so that will be that can be observed for box plot analysis and the characteristics of this box and whisker plots are and it is very important okay you may note down these points it is univariate in nature and summarizes the distribution of each attribute univariate in nature means now i am considering one attribute at a time it draws a line for the middle value that is our median you all know that the median is the middle value then it draws a box around 25% and 75% so in the case of up to the 25% 0 to 25% at the 25% we have one box and again one underlying box at 75% and middle one you already got that is median so from minimum we have what 25% and after that median then we have 75 percent then we have maximum so it also draws whiskers which will give us an idea about the spread of the data now that whiskers with respect to that whisker actually this is known as box and whisker plot so we are actually doing what we are using box and whisker to have an analysis of the distributions of attributes the dots outside the whisker signifies the outlier values and outlier values will be one would be 1.5 times greater than the size of the spread of the middle data you may note down 1.5 times greater than the size of the spread of the middle data so you can imagine imagine that how much important this box and whisker plot is why because it also helps us to find out our outliers outliers in our data set isn't it so now going to the practical implementation part see import pandas as pd we are importing pandas and from pandas we are considering pd as one instance then from matplotlib import py plot okay because that will be used to plot that particular box and whisker plot then part where actually the data set is and this is z kajiranga university or semester to the data mining whatever the plot we are giving and that that particular data set that is prima indians diabetes csv i have described about this data set in my first lecture go through it the names means different types of attributes we have prec plus press skin test mass pedi s class then we need to create a variable and store this so data is that variable pd read csv is means read csv we are using because we are reading a comma separated values then part then names is equal to names names as it is this this is what mean by this line then data dot plot this function is used and you know in case of density plot we have specified density now here box plot so kind is equal to box sub plots true you already know what is sub plots I mean we are dividing the plots into a layout of 3 cross 3 that is nine different plots but here we have how much 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 nine of them crx false and cre false so one homework for you what is actually crx and what is actually cry go through it and comment to me in the comment box below then py plot dot show okay so these are the code you can take a screenshot of this now coming to the our 
spider, open the spider. So this is our spider. You see, these are the piece of code. We'll execute line by line. I have already illustrated the meaning of the purpose of every line. So import pandas SPD. So click this one, run every statement for this. We have this button. Then from Matplot, execute this. See, whenever we are executing statement by statement, if it is successfully executed, then it is shown here in the console. If some error comes, then it will be shown here also. Then part, okay, part one, clear. Names, okay, you just note down these things also. And then this one, data created, so data plot, then again, click by plot. So executing, isn't it? So this is the output. You may note it, this is the output. So, well, look at the output. You see, this is box, these are the box, and for every means uh, attribute, we are going through this box. Okay, so box plot, regarding the definitions I have described, so try to analyze this output with respect to those definitions. I mean that 25%, that 75% and that median value, meant the minimum and maximum, that whisker line. Okay, so you will find a whisker line. Okay, so do it and don't mean skip this class. This is very important because you will find that box plot analysis is maximum time used by data scientists to find out the means outliers, also to analyze the density distributions of the data. I hope this lecture is helpful for you. Okay, I'll come with new more lectures with new more topics. So, meet you in the next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.